Hello, it's me, Nanigans. I fucked up my intro. Hello, again, it's me, Nanigans. Here with part two of the Indigo Panic of Princess. Um, so just getting right back into it because somebody called me and I ruined my intro already. Um, Onion has had a rough season so far. I think he died to a crit at least once every single game. Um, we all know he's very capable of winning matches. Uh, last season he said he, he feels like he's playing against bots, which will live in infamy. And now he's playing like a bot. Um, I really don't know what to say other than it's disheartening. Um, I really, we, I know he's capable. I know he's a good player and, make, and makes good plays. Uh, I just really hope he, uh, finds a way to make a comeback happen and really get it together, you know? Um, so, Darth Grundle, the coach of three Jill Baddies, has unfortunately had to, uh, drop out due to real-life circumstances. Um, he's working, like, 12 hours a day, every day a week. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, a new coach will be taking over. His name is Trip, and I don't know Trip personally, but I hear from his peers that he should not be in this division, which means this team can be saved from going, uh, 08. So, hopefully, he does just that. Um, Specs Gastro, coach of the Gunslinger Golurks, has had a pretty rough time in this prep. He usually overpreps for Pokemon that aren't coming. Um, but he also has a pretty diverse team um, that, when I look at, I see uh, ways to find answers to a lot of different solutions. I think Buzzwole is an insane Pokemon in draft format. And he just needs a chance to shine and he will steal it. Which, he's already beaten uh, Gameron, um, who was one of the highest seeds currently. Um, I, th I think if he buckles down and really tries to uh, keep an open mind and not shut down mentally, he can really make some magic happen. Uh... <laughs> Flamebirds, the coach of the Shuckle Saloon. Uh, he didn't go 08. He got his win for the season. He's done. He did it. He can check out. I'm happy. I'm proud of him. Uh, he's got Cone Caldor, Ferrothorn, which is always cool. He's got Rain. He's got Zygarde. He's got a cool team. I don't really know what else to say about Flamebirds, other than he got his one win, and I'm proud of him. Good job, kid. Uh... Kolo Modis, coach of the New York Knickets, just like Onion, um, really dominated the last season, but ha this season has just been rough. Um, Indigo 2 Kolo went 1-7, but Indigo 3 Kolo went 6-2, like, a convincing 6-2, like, could have been 8-0-6-2. Um, this season, I think he's been 0 6 and I think he's been 0-5. And, you know, I think Smeargle is a fake news Pokemon. I think Frostmoth is a waste of a slot. I think they're better two-point mods. Um, I feel like Scolipede and Starmie and Crocodile are really good breakers, but not really together. Um, I think his fantasy core is insane, uh, but I also feel like it's not enough. And... Seeing how his matches have been going down, um, I further submit that his team might need some changes uh, if he really wants to make the comeback, because we know the player can do it. Um, I just hope he can, you know? We love Kolo. He's a longtime indigoer. We're always rooting for him, and he's a huge underdog, underdogs this season, so hope he can make the comebacks happen. Uh, one bad GTO, uh, coach of the Bad Veneries. Um, I thought his team was terrible at the beginning of the season, but, and Kramer said his team is the best team in this season. So, this team is very conflicted in the mod team, in the mod, uh, council. We don't really know what to expect with him, and judging from the way he plays, I don't really know what to expect from him either. Uh, it's really unique. He usually sets up only one screen with one Pokemon, and sets up a second screen with a different Pokemon. 
um, and then just kind of chips away nickel and dimes the entire game. Or gets exposed and ends up losing. He has a lot of setup sweepers. He has a lot of uh, setup defense. Uh, his team's really cool, and you know, I think he's uh, played with it pretty well so far. Um, I think he just needs to keep playing like this. Like, just keep playing unique to his style, and I think uh, as long as people don't call him out on it, he will uh, make moves happen for sure. Doc, Doc, Doc. Coach of the Board Primate Yacht Club, which is an NFT joke. Don't buy NFTs, kids. They're bad for the environment. Um, he is the only person that drafts Man Buzz out of both divisions, which, uh, questionable, because Man Buzz won both divisions last season. Um, so I think Doc has a good team. I think his team's good. I think his low tiers are great. Um, I think it's well-rounded. Um, I personally am not a Magnezone believer, but I still think Magnezone is a good Pokemon. Um... I, don't, I really don't have a lot of comments on Doc, uh, other than, like, I'm rooting for him. I'm always going to be rooting for him. Uh, I think he's a great player, and I just, it needs to be seen. Uh, you know? I think, I think he can do it, for sure. Uh, so here's one of my favorites. Oh, hello. Marshall37, coach of the uh, Buy Barrel Bandos. Um, he talks a lot of smack. He's very cocky, very confident in himself. Uh, managed to make top four last season, even though he went into top four with a pretty mediocre seed. Uh, but he runs Pharaoh seed, so he doesn't care what seed he has. He's gonna be doing the same thing every game with him. Um, Marshall is a little bit of a hook protege. Um, and you know, I don't know, his team's good. He's made some good trades and got it to be a lot better. Uh, it's much more well-rounded. Um, it just remains to be seen what he is capable of, in my opinion. Which, I think he's capable of winning if he really puts his head into it. Uh, Zoe, coach of the Gorgeist Ghoul Heist. Um... So I think Hook and I will both agree that we love Zoe's team. It's very adorable. Not adorable, but like, it's got Gorgon, so it's adorable to me. Um, it's just a cool team. It's really fun. Uh, she has had some unfortunate turns <laughs> of luck. Um, but I definitely think uh, she can go the distance for sure. Uh, Hook says that Zoe is the biggest underdog this season, um, and really wants, is like really rooting for her to, uh, make things happen. I think, I don't know, Gorgeist is so cool together, uh, I think Alolan Mach is a slept on Mon, um, and then Rotom Wash, Moltres is really good. I wish, as much as I love Gorgeist, Gorgeist and Moltres work together really well, I really wish there was a, um, secondary grass type on this team um but yeah i, I don't know I, th I really love this team i think it's really cool uh jules coach of play dmc5 lmao uh it jules has a weird indigo history their first season they came in sweeping people and then started getting sweeped the rest of the season uh, and then their next two seasons have been pretty not good, to say the least. Um, but Jules is a good player. I think they just tend to uh, throw games away sometimes because they don't care that much. Um, but everybody loves watching Jules games. Uh, I think Jules is one of the most entertaining players and one of the most entertaining Indigo personalities out here. Um, I really hope that this is the season for Jules. Uh, you know, they got some of their favorites. They got their Skarm. They got their Powdon. They got Sand. Uh, I really think Jules can do it. Um, I just hope they do. You know? You know? Uh, so Taz is a newcomer.
Taz is a newcomer. My music stopped. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Uh, Taz has a really cool team. Uh, it's really, really well-rounded and not very top-heavy. Um, I think Executor is, like, probably the weakest link. Um, mainly because I think it's not a great Pokemon. E either Executor, really, unfortunately. Uh, but I think he's... His team is really good, like, you can just not bring Executor to any match and still have a great team. Um, I think Empoleon is awesome. Uh, I think Jazzy is in his ear whispering to him. Uh, and I don't know, I think... I think his team is really cool, I think his team is really good. I don't know Taz very well, so I can't speak too much of him as a person. But, um... I, I think he's making top 8. For sure. I think his team is really good. I think his matches are really intense. Uh, I think his differential is poop, but I think he can get it up there to where he... If he, if he wins two more games, it doesn't matter what his differential is, you know? He makes top eight. Uh, NME is somebody I'm so happy wanted to do this draft. Um, they have a super cool team. I think they actually traded something out to get Torkoal, which means they have Sun that can really pop off now, which is super cool. Um, I think their team is super awesome, super well-rounded. Uh, I think Duraludon is kind of a sleeper pick. I don't think it's the most scary thing in the world, but I do think his team is really good. Um, you know, he's had some good matches. Uh, his Aerodactyl has clutched flinch wins. Um, his Venusaur has stalled and swept. Uh, I think... Enemy is a shoe in for top eight. Straw Hat Zelda is last season's runner up, Hoax favorite this season. Uh, he asks for help from multiple people and always applies that knowledge and uh, tries to uh, better his strategy as much as possible. Um, he's also perfectly fits in Indigo by bringing extremely unique sets. Um, that are extremely entertaining to watch. He brings some of the most creative sets I've seen. Uh, he brought moves that I didn't know existed. That's how cool the sets are. Um, I really think Straw Hat Zelda has what it takes to win this season. Um, especially if he applies all that he's learned throughout every season that he's played in. <sighs> all right, Gameron, coach of the 1159 Church Wigs, almost high noon. Uh, Dude soloed two teams with Garchomp. What do you want me to say other than Garchomp hasn't gotten like, any kills? Other than that, he doesn't need any more kills. If he gets like more kills, he will make Indigo records. I think the highest record is 18 or 19 kills in a season. Um, which, Cameron, you should make that your goal. Uh, because you can do it. Um, I think his team just so hyper offensive it's so cool i would love to play with this team it's just so aggressive uh my biggest problem with him is his play style is that he runs substitute on everything um which i'm not saying is the worst strategy in the world but there's definitely counter play to it and if people watch this video and realize that and try to actually counter that um they're gonna have i think gammer might have a rough time I think Cameron is a player that definitely... I think he's in top 8. I don't think there's any... Anybody is questioning the fact that Cameron is making top 8 this season. I don't know if he wins this season on sub spam, though. If he does, hats off, dude. Yeehaw. All the way there. Um, and then our second play team is... Milk Chocolate, coach of the Adel Altars. Um, after watching one game of Milk Chocolates, I immediately said, yeah, this dude needs to be in the higher division. Um, and then after watching second games, I said it again. And after watching the third game, I said it again. After watching the fourth game, I said, even gods can bleed. That's what I said to myself. I laugh. <laughs> uh, I think he, I think this player is insane. Um, I think he's really, really good. I think his team is incredible. Um, I don't think anybody is prepping for Lit Lickitung. And then he's just stalling everybody with Lickitung. He doesn't even have to show off what the rest of his team is doing. Uh, which I think is really, really awesome. As soon as somebody preps for Lickitung, though, 
he's got so many other cards in his sleeve that haven't even been shown yet, uh, which I think is awesome. So I have high expectations um, with Milk Chocolate. I think he has definitely what it takes to win the entire game. Am I not recording? I am. Okay, cool. I thought I just wasted 20 minutes of my life. All right, so our first place coach is BH, coach of the San True Salon. Uh, also, Hook's favorite to win. Hook says they have the strongest chance to win. Their team is extremely well-rounded and has several cores, not just a Sand core, not just a Lele Lucha core. He has multiple cores, um, multiple like Fairy Dragon steals, uh, water, fire, grass cores. He has every, they have every core that you could want. And their team is incredibly well-rounded and has so many tools. Um, the worst thing on this team is, the, the worst thing about this team is, I it's not, it's Dragology and an Indigo League. I don't, I think BH is trying really hard to get this thing a kill and it's just not working out for them. Um, and I hope with their remaining four games, they're able to get something going with that Pokemon and just try to lift the curse from this poor being, uh, which I don't know if it's possible or not. Uh, the only way we'll know if it's possible is if BH shows us. Um, but other than that, I think BH very handedly uh, preps insanely well. I think their cores are insanely good, and... I think they play really well. They save their differential extremely, extremely well. Um, I I would be blabbergasted to see BH not make top eight. Um, and I, I just think they're going to. <laughs> Bye.